Echinacea has come a long ways. Uh, it used to only be in, uh, available in purple and white, but through breeding, you, we have lots of different colors available. Uh, this particular Echinacea here is called uh, Sobrero Summer Solstice, and uh, the Sobrero series has 13 different cultivars available in it. They're all propagated through tissue culture. This particular one is new this year, and uh, the reason why it's called Summer Solstice is because it's got this unusual halo around the center of the flower. Uh, it has performed extremely well uh, for us. We planted it last year. It needed a year to get established in the garden, and then this year it has just exploded in color. The nice thing about these echinaceas is that they haven't had any bug or insect uh, or, insect or uh, disease issues throughout the trial, and uh, they've had blooms uh, throughout the season. Uh, once these flowers get old, you can come through and, and remove the old flowers and uh, there's many new flowers you can see here that are going to develop and replace uh, the old flowers. So if you want to, you can, you can cut them back uh, to get rid of the old, old flowers. Uh, they're great for pollinators and they've been a fantastic addition to our garden. Uh, they are also nicely branched and short, so they'll get uh, about 18 to 20 inches tall in your garden and they will just perform for you really well as long as you um, put them in an area that's not too wet in the garden.